to the channel again. For today we have a special pen since this is a very very dear to my heart pen. We have a special occasion and I've tried to integrate my new setup and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's dive in into the unboxing first then we are going to cover some of its features and see a writing sample of the nib. The pen comes inside this cardboard box which is the Visconti big box and uh, inside here let's remove the lid we have a very very expensive looking box if we open the lid we can see that the pen in question is the Visconti watermark it is a very very expensive pen of my collection which it's I have to say till this day one of my favorites or at least top three favorite pens in my collection so this it's the inside of the box which is covered in leather if we remove this box here we have the international Visconti ID card which you can use to take the pen for repairments and let's put everything aside and take a better look at this pen so let's analyze the pen better uh, the pen it's a silver 925 sterling silver body which uh, houses inside uh, the clear mechanism the Visconti power filler and it has a normal unscrewing cap does not have the twist lock mechanism from Visconti and the pen it's limited to 888 pieces uh, this one being number 636 out of 888 it is a very very nice design pen the cut the cutouts of the silver tube are resembling the letter V which stands for Visconti and therefore the name watermark also uh, this is not the silver in its raw form from what I read this is a palladium plated silver this is because Visconti didn't want the pen to tarnish like every silverware and therefore they are plating the silver on this pen with a 3 micron palladium coating. This will ensure that the pen stays, stays shiny and will be protected against scratches you can see by the design of it you can look very easy at the nib inside the cap and here we have the um, Visconti Ponte del Vecchio clip which is a clip designed to hold the pen inside a very expensive suit or a shirt this will help you to keep the pen secure inside your pockets 
this pen retails somewhere around $1,600 or $1,700 but uh, it is very very limited edition and it is sold from what I know and um, I've tried to look for them on the eBay and found one but not so easy. It is a very very heavy pen. It's not for your everyday or daily writing and therefore for this pen I went with a stub nib, a palladium 23 karat pal palladium dream touch nib from Visconti which I often use for writing my letters and for signing documents. Um, also on this pen being such an expensive pen I didn't want to risk and use inks that can stain the pen or something like this so this pen was only inked with Waterman inks and most most of the time I've used the blue one because uh, blue is one of my favorite ink colors. Here on the top of the power vac mechanism we have the serial number of the pen and also here I don't know if you see but I will add some close-ups and on the close-up I will show you the trademark for Silver 925 which every every silverware or anything that is made out of silver must be stamped and this one has the hallmark to prove it. The section it's made out of metal the pen I don't know if it's posting as you can see it is posting but not securely and I often use this pen unposted and I do not post because I don't want to have scratches on the material or to have a very very heavy pen. It is alright to use without posting. The section it's made out of uh, silver or metal. It is a fairly back heavy pen but it is not your everyday use pen so this is not such a big deal about it. It does have the second chamber mechanism uh, sorry the second chamber of the power vac mechanism which helps you when you are aboard a plane to travel with your pen without messing up your shirts or spilling ink everywhere. I think that is it and I would like to offer you a writing sample with the pen and let's see how is the palladium nib performing. For the writing sample, we are going to use the sentence The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog And let's see how this is nib from Visconti is performing Okay, the nib it's smooth and 
the let's name it a pen. As you can see, the stop has a line variation of its own, and you can clearly see that while I'm doing it. This, this is the small one, and this is the large one. Uh, let's check the flow. the single pass it's a wet flow on two passes it's even wetter so this concludes our writing sample okay back from the writing sample Let's examine the pen and see some features that are not strong points of this, of this model and some which are. First, I would like to start with the things that I consider are not that great about this pen. And this is hard for me because it is a very special pen for me. and. Um, if I have to name one thing that I do not like about it, it's that it's a fingerprint magnet. The finish, it's very cool, it's looking shiny and it is not scratching and everything, it's fine about it. But once you hold it in your hands, there will be prints all over. And something which it's in the same category it's when you are using a wiping cloth or something like this to wipe your fingerprints off it it often gets snags in in this cutouts uh, they are a little bit scratchy and pointed and this will rip your cloth apart it is not something that it is that that bad about it but if i have to name one thing this will be it but it's not visconti to blame about it it's how the design works so now let's move to the things I like about this pen and um, I have a very very big list. First it's the weight. Indeed it's a heavy pen but it's very balanced for the weight and also I like that on this model they opted for the screw cap and not the twist lock and this it's very very nice I also like uh, the fact that uh, it's transparent and the cap and the body both are transparent and on the barrel you can easily see the ink move inside there and also if you look closely you can see the nib inside the cap that it's something that i like on this pen also it's the feeling of owning a very very luxury pen it's weighty it's expensive it's a conversation starter object 
or pen or accessory and it screams manly it's a very very manly pen so I think that I covered most of the things that I like about it and I want to thank you for watching this review and also I will leave in the description below the link to my Instagram channel where you can find a better photos of this pen and also my collection and while you are there you can follow me and there is the place that I post almost every day sometimes twice or third time or three times a day and if you want to support me doing this please subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram and I will show you more of my collection in the time coming. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.